Mobile City Council will consider action on above-ground oil or petroleum tanks at tomorrow's council meeting. Now, that topic has brought up much debate since American Tank and Vessel first proposed building a petroleum storage facility in Africatown back in 2013. Fox News reporter Hal Sherrick joining us live from Government Plaza to bring you up to speed. Hal, can you tell us about a study that the planning commission is reviewing? Bob, I sure can. Uh, the subcommittee is looking at a year-long review done by a citizen's advisory board that was created by Mobile City Council. They were appointed by the Mobile City Council and former Mayor Sam Jones. Their task was to go into the community and hear concerns of residents and businesses and report back to the City Council with their findings. Now, because the possibility of above ground oil and petroleum storage tanks sparked such a controversy, extra time was already given to the Citizens Advisory Board, and now the council is being asked for more time. The council is being asked to give the subcommittee until March 31st of next year to finish their review and make any recommendations for changing the zoning ordinance to allow for above ground oil or petroleum holding tanks. City Councilman Joel Daves said something this important does take time. There has been an opportunity over that uh, extended period of time for mul multiple opportunities for uh, folks, for, for citizens, for residents, for businesses to uh, give input to the city council uh, and to the planning commission. Dave says there are competing interests with, uh, on one hand you have businesses uh, looking for their right to do business and on the other hand of course the well-being and safety of, of mobile citizens. Now Council President Gina Gregory told me today that if the vote for the extension does not pass everything will revert back to the process that's on the books now. The Planning Commission is already considering zoning regulations for above ground petroleum holding facilities. Now, I will have much more on this a little bit later on your only local news at 530. Reporting live from Government Plaza, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.